Well, hello, hello, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my camera so you guys can see my smiling face. Hello, everybody. Um, we'll get started officially here in just a couple of minutes, give people kind of a chance to get logged on. Um, but I'm Melanie Shop. I am your SNU 107 Learning Community Gal, and I will be the one that presents to you all, you all week to week in your SNU 107 class. So today's session is really just to kind of make sure you kind of think about some success tips for you to be successful this term as you're starting classes. Um, I'm going to share a little bit of your classroom space, like where to click, but you're going to have webinars like this every single week. Um, they're preloaded for you. I'll pop the link in the chat. But this is just really kind of a great time to kind of sit back and just kind of get to know some of the other students that are going to be taking the same class as you. Um, it's a great session. I like to tell people that when I'm live like this, I cannot see the chat. So I have my phone up too. So if you see me kind of going between screens, it's because I want to make sure I don't miss any of your guys's questions or comments if you have them. So just know that I kind of have both things up. The session has been it will be recorded. I've started the recording. I'm going to give people just a couple of minutes. So if you haven't yet, say hello in the chat. Let me know you're here. Let me know where you're from, your major. Y'all, I am seeing all kinds of majors. I am seeing students from all over the United States and outside of the US, which is just absolutely incredible. And how cool is it that we can come together in a space like this? Because I think when you're starting classes, um, how many of you guys have been out of school for a while? Like there, this is your first time back in a minute, or maybe you've never taken college classes before, or maybe you're just picking up. You took a term or something off and you're back. No matter where you are, I'm sure there's probably a host of emotions. Is anybody excited? Is anybody a little nervous? <laughs> Is anybody a little overwhelmed? Are you a little bit of all the things? Um, that's totally normal. And I, you will see today, especially from the chat or once you get into kind of the learning community and SNU Connect, you're not alone with those emotions and those feelings. And I just want you guys to know, just take a deep breath. You are absolutely going to be amazing, and we are so excited to have you here at SNHU. So I know y'all's time is precious, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. First, everybody can hear me okay, right? Um, and can you see me okay? Can you see the screen okay? I want to make sure that everything is just accessible. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Megan and Bobby. I appreciate that. So first and foremost, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is so important to us. It's our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. The Online Accessibility Center team is a department here at SNHU that helps you as a learner get content in a way that works best for you. So if you have questions about this, want to know more about it, you can always connect with your SNHU advisor or just reach out directly to the OAC team. OK, a couple of webinar reminders. You don't need a mic or camera. They're not enabled. You just need to be able to either hear the screen or see me. Um, this is an academic space, so always be mindful of your conduct in the webinars, in our learning communities, and in your classroom spaces. Uh, these webinars, I host them from week to week. They're already, most of them for your term are on demand pre-recorded, which means that on Monday morning, bright and early, you can go to the little YouTube link that I'll share with y'all and your faculty will share it too. And you can watch the webinars when it's convenient for you, okay? These webinars are not graded. They're not required, so you don't have to come to them. You don't have to watch them. But I do walk you through your assignments and different concepts and things you might be working on in your classroom space from week to week. So a lot of students find them really helpful just because they're quick. They're usually less than 30 minutes, um, sometimes even 15 minutes. But I show you like where to click on things, how to find things and walk you through some of those assignments. Sometimes we just need that and sometimes you don't. So with these webinars, you're in a live session right now. Any live sessions, they are always recorded. And they're shared on our first year experience YouTube page. Again, I'll pop the link in the comments here when we get done today um, within 24 hours of the live session ending. So if you ever can't make a live session, don't stress because you can watch it as many times as you want to on demand. The other ones, like I said, will be preloaded bright and early Monday mornings, um, which is really pretty awesome because you can watch it when it works for you. So 
this is me. <laughs> you guys get to see my smiling face today. Um, I teach a section of SNHU 107. I have worked for SNHU for 10 years. I absolutely love our SNHU family, and I'm so excited to welcome you. And on behalf of all of our staff and faculty here at SNHU, we're just really excited to partner with you on your education. Um, some fun facts about me. Uh, I do live in just outside of Pensacola, Florida. So if any of you have ever been to the Gulf Shores area of Pensacola, we have the most absolute best beaches in the planet, if you ask me. Um, but some fun things about me. I love the water, so the beach, the pool, the river, the lake. I swear I'm a part-time mermaid. Um, I also am an avid road bike cyclist. I love to read, and every term, students give me wonderful recommendations of things to read. So if you're a reader, um, I read all across the genres. I'd love to hear um, any good books that are out there. I also love coffee. Um, I don't know if I have any coffee drinkers out there. Um, and I love my family. I have two boys. I need to update their picture because they are now like 13 and 10. I don't know where time is going. Um, for those of you that have children or loved ones that you take care of, they just go so fast, right? Um, but the biggest thing I want you to know, besides that I'm a human, just like your instructors and your advisors, we are real people, is that I am a resource for you um, as you navigate your SNHU um, 107 class. So the learning community is a space that's outside your classroom. So your classes that you will take from term to term are located in what's called bright space. That's that learn.snhu.edu website, okay? Top tip, a lot of students like to save that as like the first page that opens up when they click on their browser. That way they're not distracted to like go to the news or go to Google, it goes directly into their bright space classroom pages. Um, but the learning community is actually outside of that space, okay? So nothing is graded in SNHU Connect, that's what it's called. There's a lot of acronyms here at SNHU. You will understand all of them eventually, but don't hesitate to ever ask if you have questions what something means. But the learning community is located in what's called SNHU Connect, which you need a Pulse login for. Those logins are created about seven to 10 days after you register for classes. So don't stress if you just got registered and you try to log in and it doesn't work because it takes about seven to 10 days. You will get a login if you get stuck. You can email your advisor, let them know. They'll get you all situated, okay? But the learning community is a dedicated space for SNHU 107 students. So in this community is students who have taken SNHU 107 or who are taking it, all right? So it's a place where you can ask questions, you can share um, different emotions or feelings you might be going through. I will always post reminders for any live webinar sessions. I'll post the links for any recorded or on-demand webinar sessions. I also share these just-in-time videos called focus videos, which are usually just a couple of minutes long, and they walk you through like a specific assignment or a specific concept that you might be working on in your class. They're short, they're easy. Those are all already preloaded for the entire term on our um, First Year Experience YouTube page for Student 07, and I'll give you all these links, so don't stress about it. Um, so this is really just a space for you to kind of get some extra support and get to know students that may not be in your specific class section, but are still taking the SNHU 107 class. So what does all of this equal? Your success, because we want you to be a successful SNHU student. Um, usually, my partner is here with me, um, Dr. James Winfield, but he was unable to make it today, so I get to be him also. Um, Dr. James Winfield, actually Dr. J is what he goes by, most of his students call him, um, is our Associate Dean of First Year Experience and Retention Strategies. And one of the things I love most about SNHU is you have such direct access to our leadership here at the university. So Dr. J teaches a section of SNHU 107 and a section of IDS 105. If you ever take that class, just like me, we both teach that. Um, and these are classes dedicated to our first year students. So some fun facts about Dr. J um, is he's a big Marvel fan. So where are my Marvel fans? Um, he loves to cook. Um, he's a family man. He has the most adorable children. Um, and he is also, him and his team are a resource for you. One of the teams that Dr. J has um, is our peer mentor team. And this is kind of more, they're not tutors. Um, this is a separate um, department. They're called peer mentors. This is something that you could do once you're an SNHU student and established, but they kind of just work with you a little bit more one on one about like life skills and just applying yourself to your education. So they're a great resource um, to know about. And Dr. J, when he's here, always likes to share um, his advice to new students, which goes by the PIN acronym. So as you all know, what is our mascot? Do you guys know what our mascot is? Anybody? Pop quiz. I'm gonna see in the chat if you guys know what the SNHU mascot is. Ooh, Justin, good job. Pinman, yes. So the Pinman is our SNHU mascot. So Dr. J always likes to remind students that as you go through your classes, 
week to week, month to month, term to term. He wants you to remember to persist, engage, and network. So persist means to keep going. There's going to be some classes that you absolutely love and things just flow really smoothly. There's going to be some days where you're like, whoa, my wheels have fallen off my bus. This is harder than I thought. I'm not quite in my routine. I'm, I'm struggling. This is where you want to be able to reach out and engage, connect with the resources and departments and teams here at the university that are here to support you. In SUM 07, you are going to learn a ton about the departments and people that are here to support your success that you can reach out to, connect when it's convenient for you to help you be successful in your classes, okay? So we want to encourage you to engage with the departments, engage with the classmates, get to know the people that are in your classes. Do not be afraid to reach out to your faculty. Y'all, I can't tell you how many students every term are nervous to reach out to their instructors. Please don't be that way. Reach out if you have questions. We want you to be successful. We want to help support your success. I guarantee you the question you have or whatever might be going on, it's not the first time or the last time I'm gonna see it or hear it, okay? Remember that, reach out. You have put in the time and energy to be here. Advocate for your best, best experience and really engage with our resources here at the university and also network you know this is a great time to get to know the departments here but also your classmates also you know work with our career services team early kind of get to know the snhu grads and like where they've landed if you're kind of not sure what you want to do or have specific questions about your career there's just a lot here for you to explore for your success and i know that it can be kind of overwhelming in the beginning there's a lot of departments there's a lot of support there's a lot of places to click but just remember to take a big old deep breath and just remember if anything you got this so say it out loud i want you to say to yourself say it out loud or type it whatever you want to do like i got this for a lot of you this is the first time you've ever been in school for some of you it's been a minute it could be 10 years 15 years 20 years i had a student in her 80s a couple terms ago you know wherever you are you know maybe you've gotten a degree before and now you're here to get that degree you've always wanted you know, maybe you're somebody that school just didn't work for whatever reason before, but now you're here. Uh, maybe you just want to be the first one in your family to get your degree. No matter what it is, just remember that you are a hundred percent worth this journey. You are worth the time and that you completely got this and SNHU believes in you wholeheartedly. Um, so what I like to do is kind of give you, just give you a quick overview of SU 107 and then just give you some of the top tips from previous students and things just from teaching in the classroom over the last 10 years, um, just to kind of give you a really good start. So SNHU 107, when you log in to your Brightspace classroom and you go under that start here area, everybody always misses it, go to start here. You're gonna see your syllabus, you're gonna see some helpful videos, some information, information about your book, all kinds of stuff, but it also has your syllabus. Your syllabus is where you'll see what your assignments are, how many points they're worth, and I like to just kind of run through it with you. So in SU 107, you're gonna have five discussions, okay? So when you go into your SU 107 class, everything is by week. So week one is module one, week two is module two, week three is module three, all the way through week eight. Does that make sense? So your assignments for week one, classes start next Monday on the sixth, right? So when you log in on the sixth, there's not a set time you have to log in. You log in when it's convenient for you. But what you want to pay attention to is due dates and deadlines. So for week one, for example, when you have a discussion assignment, whenever you have a discussion assignment, that initial discussion post is always due by Thursday. And then two responses to or responses to at least two classmates are always due by Sunday. So Thursdays and Sundays for discussions. Does that make sense? Can you do them earlier in the week? Of course you can. Um, the biggest thing is, is to make sure that initial post is due by Thursday, peer responses due by Sunday. Any other assignments, warm up quizzes, journals, project, those are always due by Sunday. Can you do them earlier in the week? Of course you can. So just kind of remember that like week one is like Monday through Sunday, week two, Monday through Sunday. Does that make sense? Sometimes it can be kind of confusing, but the biggest thing is kind of put in your category, like in your kind of reminders, Thursdays and Sundays. Now those initial posts are just when you are answering a set of questions that are outlined in your assignment. You're gonna share your thoughts, share your feelings, maybe provide some examples, and then your peer responses always write more than a couple of sentences, okay? We'll talk about that as we get into future weeks too. So you have five of those, then you have five journal assignments. Journal assignments are all have a template, which means that Microsoft Word is very important. And you do get Office um, 365 for free as an SNHU student. So make sure that if you don't have Microsoft Word or something compatible, you know you get that for free as an SNHU student. And I'll show you, um, when we navigate the classroom, I'll show you where to find that at. Those journals, you have a Word document template. 
which means there's going to be a document already established. You're going to open it up and you're going to type right in it to answer the questions. You're going to have five of those. Then you're going to have three warm ups. The warm ups are kind of like little quizzes, but they're open book. Don't let the word quiz stress you out or make you nervous. Open book, you can take them as many times as you need to. But I always tell students, review the content that's in within your module first. Do any of your assigned reading and required resources, then take the quiz, okay, or the warm up. And then it's all going to kind of connect the dots and culminate into a final project at the end of the term that just kind of wraps up everything that you've been talking about all term long into one document and then that's that final project. Make sense? So that's kind of all the things you're going to be covering um, in your class. So I have some tips for your success, which number one is to prioritize your time. Honest question, have you sat down and kind of mapped out when you're gonna study for SNHU? Like when you're gonna work on your homework, when you're going to do your, your class stuff? Okay, good, I'm seeing it now. It is so important to make that SNHU time in whatever way works for you, okay? For some of you, it might be in the morning. Some of you might be over lunch hours. Some of you might be at night after people in your household are in bed. Some of you, it might be if you're on public transportation to and from work. Some of you, it'll be in the nooks and crannies of your day. Whatever it is, make sure you map out some time. And I will give you a tip that it's always easier or it's helpful if you can work a little bit earlier in the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, versus later in the week, if something happens and your week kind of gets off balance or things don't go to plan, it gives you some flexibility so that you're not like stressed on crunch time, okay? So know that. Tip number two is to make connections. Get to know your classmates, get to know your faculty. Don't hesitate to reach out, make friends, get to know us and get to know the SNHU departments, okay? It's just a really great way for you to feel connected and a part of the university. Now, tip number three is to get that electronic textbook um, purchase and get connected. So a lot of students get stuck on purchasing that electronic textbook. Um, really easy. When you log into your class at the top, there's kind of this menu. If you click on the help arrow and go to online student services, it pulls up all the different departments here at the university. Click on bookstore. You put in your class code. You put it, you're taking it online. It's going to pull up the course materials. You're going to add them to cart and check out just like you would on Amazon. Okay, very important. Always be checking your university SNHU email um, for any kind of connection codes or any instructions that you might need to get everything kind of situated. If you get stuck, if it's confusing, if you're like, if Brooke isn't working, something's not going right, reach out to your advisor. They are absolute pros at getting students all hooked up with their electronic textbooks and ready to go. I also have students that'll always ask me like, hey, Professor Shop, is there a like hard copy or like a non-electronic version of the textbook? There is, there is kind of a loose leaf paper version of the textbook. They're both the same. Um, whatever works for you is what works for you. So know that there is that option, but sometimes it sells out. So if that's something that you're interested in, I have some students who get either or, some students that just get one. It just depends on kind of what you want or some students get both. Um, so just know whatever works for you is the best thing, okay? And again, if you're stuck on those purchasing your book and getting it connected, get with your advisor. You all should have gotten an email that kind of looks similar to this. It kind of tells you, walks you through the instructions, like how to order your books. I cannot tell you how important it is to consistently be checking that SNHU email. Y'all, that's how the university communicates with you. It's how your instructor is gonna reach out to you. If you struggled on an assignment or if you missed an assignment, that's how advisors are gonna find you. They're gonna call you or email you, but like that's how the university talks to you. So please make sure that you're checking that email, okay? Really important. Also make sure that you're always checking those course announcements. Your instructor is gonna post, co post course announcements um, multiple times throughout the week. Always be checking them and reviewing them because they often share like tips for your success, things to think about on your assignments. And often when I have students that have struggled, I'm like, hey, did you read this week's announcement? And they're like, no. I'm like, let's go back and read it and see what questions you have. And they're like, oh my gosh, everything I literally needed to know was right there. So just know, always check your email, always check your course announcements, okay? Um, tip number four is have a backup plan. So y'all, life is going to life. <laughs> Things are going to happen. Uh, we have had kids get sick. Um, we've lost loved ones. Work schedules changed. Broken fingers, broken bones, natural disasters, knockout internet. I mean, computers break. Even your faculty have those same kind of issues. I tell students all the time that in one term, this is like a year ago, I had two, two brand new laptops completely like die, black screen of death like had to be sent off too. Best Buy was like, what is happening? Um, but things happen, y'all. Life happens. So the biggest thing is, is to have a backup plan. 
Okay, so always write down your instructor's name. If they share their phone number, email address, always have that written down somewhere that's not on your computer, tablet, or phone. Same with your advisor. Okay, write down their phone number, their email address. That way, if something happens where you don't have internet access or a computer or a phone to like email them or get to them, you can physically call them. Okay, also think about what you would do if your internet goes out. Like here in Florida, we have hurricanes. <laughs> I swear if it rains, it knocks out the internet, you know? So like have a backup plan. Can you use your phone as a hotspot? Can you go to the local, local library? Do you have friends or family that you can go to their house and like utilize their internet until yours is back up? I had a student that was doing some stuff from her phone and her toddler threw her phone and broke it. So like she had no way to do anything. She was able to like go to the library, get some stuff caught up and also like went to her, like her best friend's house. So the biggest thing is like just have that backup plan. If you have little children and somebody's gonna help watch them while you're doing some things and that doesn't work out, <laughs> have a backup plan, okay? Just think about some of those things uh, because life happens. It might not be this term, but it could be a future term. And just know that you're not alone. You're not the first or last student that this has happened to. Always reach out to your instructor and advisor. Let them know what's going on. I will tell you that when a student reaches out to me and says, hey, Professor Shop, this happened this week. My assignment is gonna be late. I'm like, okay, thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna keep my eye out for it. Versus you just not turning something in and us not hearing from you, how are we gonna work with you that then? You know what I mean? So always reach out for your success. When we know, we can help support you. Tip number five kind of goes with making that SNA2 time is to create a to-do list. I'm sure many of you have competing priorities, right? You know, you might work outside the home, you might work in the home, you might take care of other people um, in your life. You have, you know, personal life, work life. Now you have school life and you're gonna add it all to an already busy plate. So it's really important for y'all to know what and who should be on that list, that priority list, so you can stay focused on your studies to achieve getting your degree, okay? You guys have already heard me say this, communication is key. I can't stress enough. Um, check your university email. That's the main way that your faculty and advisors and the university will communicate with you. But also if your instructor or your advisor is trying to get a hold of you on the phone, please pick it up or return their call. It means they're trying to help you either do better on an assignment or get you caught up in class if your wheels have fallen off. You know, like just make sure that you reach out to us for your success, okay? Um, like I mentioned, the webinars for the term, this is a live session, it'll be recorded. Um, these are the links, but I will post them in the chat when we get done um, here, and I always put them in the learning community too. But we do have the focus videos, which are already loaded for the entire term, and then the webinars load every single Monday morning, bright and early of the new module. Um, any live sessions are always held via Microsoft Teams. If you ever have questions on how to find the webinars, or you can't find something, or you're looking for something, don't hesitate to reach out. Tip number eight, I always love this question, know who is on your success team. So think for a minute and tell me who is on your success team, even one person. You know, this is somebody that maybe is helping you at home so that you can have that study time. Maybe this is somebody that's at work that's maybe helping with some of like your workload or projects that you can go to school. Maybe it's you. The biggest thing is, is I encourage you to surround yourself with people that are going to support you when you struggle and cheer with you on the good days too, okay? It can take a village and sometimes we might feel like we're all alone because it's you, it's you putting in the time, you putting in the energy, but I'm telling you it's 100% worth it. So just know who's on your success team, keep them close. Know that the SNA2 resources want to be a part of that success team. So always feel comfortable reaching out to us for your success. Um, tip number nine is just to use your feedback. So every week when you turn an assignment, so for example, next week, Monday the 6th, we start classes, right? So that very first week, Monday through Sunday, your initial post is due by Thursday, and then your peer responses for a discussion and any other assignments are always due by Sunday, right? So when you have that week to work from that Sunday, from that Sunday to the following Sunday, <laughs> your instructor will be grading, okay? So some instructors grade as things come in, and some things auto grade, like the, the warm up quizzes, they auto grade. So you'll see your grade as soon as you submit it. But discussions, journals, projects, things like that, we manually grade them. So some faculty grade as things come in, some will grade through the week, some you might not see your grades until the following Sunday night, okay? So just don't stress if you're like, oh my gosh, how did I do on that? If you ever have a question like, did I turn that assignment in right? Could you open it okay? Always email your instructor and let them know. But the biggest thing is, is every week your faculty, your instructors are gonna spend time giving you feedback on your assignments line by line of the rubric for the assignment. They're gonna tell you what you did well, they're gonna tell you what you might have struggled with, they're gonna give you some examples of things you could improve or things you're really doing awesome. They might even refer you to some of the SNHU resources to work with. A big top referral 
for resources for SNE2 is always the academic support written feedback service. That is where you can submit any writing assignments like discussions, projects, journals, papers to the writing team. They look it over for whatever you want them to check and they give you feedback within 24 hours. So if you're nervous about academic writing or kind of have it written academically in a while, they are a wonderful and free service to use for your success to kind of help you feel more confident with your um, writing. But we're gonna tell you those things from week to week. So when you go to view your grades, you wanna make sure that you're checking that feedback because often we're telling you some things that you wanna look for on your next assignment so you don't make the same mistake if you lost points, okay? Tip number 10, I've already said it a bunch, but y'all connect, connect, connect. Use your university resources. You have resources here at SNHU. You have resources outside the classroom, but I just want you to know that this isn't even a comprehensive list. This is just kind of some of the big ones off the top, off the top of our head, but you have your instructors, your advisors, the career team, the academic support team has a written feedback services, workshops, tutors. SNHU Connect is where you can find learning communities and clubs and organizations. Has anybody joined any clubs yet? We have amazing clubs that online students are a part of. We have like Nerds Unite. We have a paranormal club. We have military clubs. We have military spouses clubs. We have um, SNHU parents. There's a psychology club. There's creative writing. There's some business groups. I mean, there's a whole other oh, horror club. Yes, Justin, I just heard about that one. Um, I have a couple of students that were in my class this term that joined that and they were like, they loved it. So there's a lot of ways to get involved. And I know, again, it can seem kind of overwhelming in the beginning, but take your time start slow, take things day by day, and just remember there's a lot of support here for your success, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to remind you is that SNHU Connect, again, is that space outside your classroom. So that's where the clubs and organizations are. That is where the SNHU 107 learning community is. But I wanna remind you, it can take about seven to 10 days for your login to be created. So if you're trying to log in and it's not working, do not stress out, okay? Um, it just might be that it hasn't been that seven to 10 days. But if you're still having trouble after that, email connect at snhu.edu and they'll look into your login and make sure that everything is ready to go, okay? So I am going to actually share my screen with you guys um, and share a classroom space. I just wanted to really quick um, make sure I wasn't missing anything in the chat. I think I have most questions answered, which is awesome. Um, let me see here. Okay, how are we feeling so far? Is this helpful? Is this like, okay, I got this. Like I can do this. <laughs> this is all the pieces, we're feeling good. Okay, good, that's what I like to know. Um, okay, so now what I wanna do is just walk you all through a classroom space really quick, okay? Now, your module one webinar, which will be ready to go bright and early um, Monday morning on the 6th, is gonna walk you through an in-depth look at everything for week one, module one, okay? This is my class from this last term, y'all. So don't pay attention to due dates and announcements and things that are in here because this is the term that just ended, but I wanted to kind of walk you guys through a couple of things. First and foremost, what I wanted to show you is that this is kind of your menu for success here at the top. So when you click on that help icon, you can always get quick link to the IT service desk if you're having any issues with anything technical. The other thing is you have this online student services link, which I'm gonna click on here in a minute. It pulls up all the departments here at the university, okay? The other thing I wanted to show you is there's this student tutorial videos. This is really helpful because it's these quick YouTube videos that just walk you through like how to find the discussion board, your feedback and grades, the learning environment, how to understand your assignments and rubrics. There's just a lot of stuff um that they you are there for your success okay i like to point those out because students often miss them um and they didn't even know that like that was there so when you click on online student services um it's going to pull up like i said all the departments here at the university sometimes it can take a minute so you'll notice there's the bookstore so you can get your books right quick link to academic advising academic support is right here um, as you scroll down, you will see this Office 365 and other software. Always click the blue, it gets you to where you wanna go, okay? This is where you, um, for Office 365 and other software, when you click on this, you'll follow the steps to get that Office 365, which has like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, downloaded um, to your computer, okay? So know that that's there. Um, there's also a quick link to SNHU Connect the career services team, they're kind of all here in one space. Um, Megan, I saw your question about the e-portal. Anything that you will do in your classroom space needs to be done within Brightspace. So when you go into Brightspace, you will upload your assignments there, you will submit things in the discussion board, everything has to be within the class space, okay? So if you're stuck or not sure like where that is, or if you did something that maybe you have to redo, get with your advisor and they'll make sure that they double check everything, okay? 
Um, the other thing I want to show you on a course menu is when you go to announcements, remember I mentioned always check your university email, but also check your announcements. Like this is where your instructor will post all kinds of reminders, all kinds of fun things um, there for you. But the other thing I wanted to show you too is you can always see who your instructor is when you first log into your class. Like this is my classroom space. So it'll say like have a picture of them usually or something that they love. It has their email address. You can quickly get to that. Um, but when you go into announcements, there's a my instructor announcement that'll go over kind of like their bio, like their experience, like who they are, fun things about them. So I encourage you guys to always be reviewing that. The other thing I wanted to point out is if you click on course menu and you go to learning modules, this is where um, there is that start here. So click on start here. When you do that, here's your syllabus, like I mentioned before, so you can just pull that up. Um, also, you have a reminder of your book with directions um, on how to get your book um, added to um, your system. Plus you have this direct link. Again, click the blue, it's where you wanna go for the online bookstore, okay? It also goes through how to add things to your Vital Source bookshelf. So this is a really great space if you have just some general questions, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to note is that there are some assignments in your SNU 107 class where you can use what's called video note. This is basically a video submission of the assignment. Now, with that, I want to be very, very clear that there are certain assignments you cannot use it on. Your journal assignments cannot be video notes. Your final project cannot be video notes. And if you do use a video note, you need to make sure you have your talking points listed. So if your instructor asks for them, they're ready to go. So always click through this using video notes so you understand what's required of you and how it works so you do it correctly before using any video notes for assignments, okay? It's an awesome thing to do, but often I have students who will just like submit a video and think they did it right, and then they have to provide me with certain things and it's more work than it ended up being in the beginning. So just know, make sure you know what to do and what to submit if you're gonna use a video note for any assignment. And remember, there are certain assignments like your journals and your final project that you cannot use a video note submission for, okay? Now, like I mentioned also, um, the modules are week by week. So module one starts on Monday the 6th, runs through that Sunday. Then the next one is module two, okay? So remember module three, module four, module five, all the way through week eight. So just know that's where your assignments are. For example, if you click on module one, um, you always wanna click the blue, gets you to where you wanna go. When you click on the introduction, it's gonna pull up an overview of the week. So always scroll all the way down, click over, make sure you're reviewing all of the text. Um, it'll also um, go over any required resources. Always make sure you're checking this section, watch any videos that might be here, any chapters that you need to review. Um, there's always some helpful additional things, but as you kind of like click through the module, it'll get you to your assignment. So when you get to the discussion assignment, for example, um, when you get to that, it's always really important to make sure you review the questions. Sorry, it's like taking a minute to pull up, I think just because I'm doing all the things. So hold on just a sec and let's see if it's gonna load. Well, it might not. So let's go back in here. Hold on just a second. Let's try it again. Um, okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get into the discussions. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Um, in the discussions area, you guys will see this general question space. This is literally just a general question space. If you have something that's related to um, the classroom or an assignment that is general, don't ever put anything personal in here like, hey, why is my grade this? Or, or submit an assignment in this space. Don't do that because it's a public space. Everybody can see it, okay? I always tell students if you have a personal question about a grade or if you're stuck on something or struggling with something, always send an email to your instructor. But I also wanted to point out that when you have your discussions, like when you click on the link for the discussion, it'll pull up like the actual questions that you need to answer. That is where you wanna make sure that you answer each question, write in complete sentences. And like the discussions just don't wanna pull up today, y'all, I am so sorry. Um, but when you get in there, you'll see them and there's lots of helpful videos for it too. Oh, there we go, okay, there, it just took a minute. And it's on the struggle bus today. So you'll notice for week one, this is your very first discussion. So you're gonna read through the overview, but then it's gonna tell you what you're answering. Okay, I know the computer is like, no more, I'm done with you. Um, is first, you're gonna introduce yourself to the class, share a little bit about you, kind of like you did today, like where you're from, your major, anything else you wanna share that you feel comfortable sharing. And then you wanna make sure you answer the rest of the questions. And some questions have multiple pieces and parts. So always make sure you answer all of them. So for example, you're gonna explain what, it, what you think it means to take ownership of your success during this course any resources, you know, there's a couple questions in here, and then like, what's your why? 
Okay, so that would be actually what you are going to be answering. Okay, I like to give students this kind of like to think about it because you're not doing anything until you log in on Monday. If you happen to have gotten really excited um, and got in there and started doing stuff, just know that you're not going to have to redo anything, but that your instructor won't see anything and won't look at anything until the when classes start. Okay, um, I think I saw a question about your ISBN number is different um, than what your instructor has. I'm not. It shouldn't be. Um, my guess is you probably have maybe a different version of the power book, but I would just double check with your instructor, make sure they know that. Um, it shouldn't be a major issue, issue, but just double check with them so that they're aware, okay? That's why I always tell students like order the books directly from SNHU. Um, sometimes when they try to grab it off of Amazon or something like that, it's not always the right one. So just know that and they might have to return it. But this is just kind of like a quick overview of like where to click, where to find things. The other thing I wanted to point out is you do have access to the library up here and then you have academic support. So remember when I said academic support, kind of has this menu of services, they have 24 seven drop in tutoring. There's workshops, there's academic coaching. The big heavy hitter that a lot of students like to use is this written feedback. You can upload and submit drafts of any of your writing assignments that are for SNHU. A little questionnaire pops up where you kind of have share what you want them to like focus in on the tutor and then they'll get you feedback within 12 hours. A lot of students love to use it. It's a big help, um, especially if you're nervous about your academic writing. OK, the other thing I wanted to show you is a quick link to the learning community. If you click on learning community, it just gives you a reminder of like what the learning community is. Click the blue gets you to where you want to go. Um, there is a video for login instructions in case you guys are stuck. And then when you log into the community, the community looks something like this. Let's see if it'll pull up. Yay. So you'll notice that students are in here saying hello. Um, up here is the search button in the upper right hand corner. So you can look for any clubs, organizations, things like that. So that is the learning community. That is kind of a quick navigation of your class. Like I said, the week one webinar goes through things much more in depth. Uh, but let me see if there's anything else. Let's double check the chat real quick. Otherwise, that should be it. Any other questions? How are we feeling? That's it. I know I went a little bit over um, on time, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you like where to click and how to find things. Um, but again, if you're stuck with anything like with your books and getting it on your devices or you're not sure how to do something, reach out to your advisor. They are an absolute gem and a wealth of knowledge of getting you all connected. Um, sometimes there's certain tech specifics that you have to have um, to get things working right. So just don't stress. Take a deep breath. We have an amazing SNHU help desk um, here at the university. Plus your advisor, advisor knows a lot of things. If there's anything in your classroom space that you're not sure about or you can't find, like I said, always reach out to your instructor. As soon as you log in, you'll see their email right there. Don't hesitate to reach out. I always love to when students just send me a quick note. They're like, hey, Professor Shaw, um, I'm new to classes. It's been a minute since I've been out of school or I've never been in college and kind of let me know a little bit about them. That's nice. It's helpful to know those things. Of course, we'll do introductions in week one, but just enjoy it, y'all. Enjoy the ride. You know, for many of you, this is something that you have wanted to do for a long time and you're here. And so enjoy it connect, immerse yourself in the experience as much as you can, as much as your life allows. Just know that you have an entire university rooting for you. We are so thankful and grateful that you have chose SNHU to partner with on your education. And I just know you're absolutely going to smash it this term. Um, I hope to see you back in the learning community. Say hello, let me know um, how you're doing. Make sure you introduce yourself, catch the webinars. Like I said, they will be recorded. You know what, I'm gonna pop that link in here real quick. I'm going to remind everybody that today was recorded, but here is that webinar link. Um, if you go to it now, you won't see much there um, because everything starts posting right away on Monday. And there you go every Monday, every week. But the focus videos are up and I'll post that link here in the chat too. Um, but y'all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for spending some time with me. And just remember, you got this. We're so excited for you, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your week, an amazing weekend, and get ready to start on Monday. Bye, everybody.